the countdown begins. Three, two, one, and zero. The rocket launches towards Mercury. Oh, wow! When they were going, Rakesh says his father. You know, father. There, I can celebrate my four birthdays because there one year is equal to eighty-eight days only. It is also the smallest planet and it's closest to sun. It's also named after the winged messenger in Roman mythology. His father says, "Wow, beta." I I also want to go there. It took four years to reach Mercury from Earth. There, the boss said, "We cannot live here." Also, we have to go back to Earth. Father says, "Yes, yes, we have to go," and they go back to Earth. There, at Earth, he reads a book about Venus. In it, it was written that it's very. The wind exceeds the tornado strength there. So, he packs full clothes for the journey. His father says, "You should take half clothes because." It's the hottest planet. Why are you taking full clothes? Rakesh says, "I am taking full clothes because there there is so much wind, so I have to take them." Father says, "Oh yes, yes, take many full clothes then." When they were going to Venus, the boy says, "Father, father, did you know it's hottest, brightest morning and the e- evening star? It's also referred as Earth twin." The father says, "Okay, okay," and they reach Venus. In six months, there the boy says, "We cannot live here. Also, we have to go to Earth again." At Earth, his friend says him, "Earth is the best. There, it's home to a million species. You should live here." It's also most dense, so he agrees with his friend. Then he searches on internet about Mars. He reads that there is a mountain named Olympus Mons there. It's three times taller than Mount Everest. He packs his bag and. Immediately informs his father, and they go to Mars. But the boy says, "Oh no, we cannot live here. Also, we have to go back to Earth." Father says, "But is there anything special more about here?" He says yes, yes. There, it's named after the Roman god of war. It's referred as Red Planet, and Mission Mangalyaan is going there to find something that to find that if we can live there. Father says, okay. So after some years, I think we can live on Mars. Rakesh says, "Yes, I also think so." These were 
the inner planets. Now we will discuss about the outer planets. But he sees something in between. He thinks about it and reads the book he brought from home. There it was written that it was a steroid belt. Then he reads the book and sees that now we shall go to Jupiter. It's a gas giant and it also has rings. They go to Jupiter. When they were going, he says that, Did you know, Papa? It has a moon named Ganymede, which is largest moon in the solar system. It's also bigger than Mercury. It's located in Jupiter. I want to see it also. They see Ganymede and Jupiter. They both say, We cannot live here. We have to go somewhere else. He he says his father, can you see in the internet what comes next to Jupiter? His father says, yes, I will tell you. Then they see internet. There it was written that Saturn comes next to Jupiter. They pack their clothes and go to Saturn. When they went to Saturn, they saw many big rings. He said his father, Oh no, we cannot live inside Saturn. Oh no. From between of these rocks and particles, how will we go? The father says, if we go, then also we cannot live there. Then they search on internet about Uranus. They found that there its atmosphere might rain diamonds. Oh, wow! It's also the coldest planet so they go to Uranus there they see some diamonds they take them home he says his father first planet discovered by telescope was Uranus and they search on internet about Neptune it says that clouds of frozen methane there would rush faster than the speed of sound and they go to Neptune. The boy says it's too cold here. We shall go back to Earth. It's the best of all planets. And they go back to Earth. Thank you. We will learn about more things in next class.